hello everyone welcome to quick code academy today in this video i'm going to tell you how you can create any application using ai so for this example i'm going to show you how you can create ott application from scratch within few minutes so for that we are going to use one tool named as bold.new so on google you have to go and just search for this website bold.new it will uh, take you to the bold uh, screen so currently i have already signed up for this website but you can also sign in using your google account so it is absolutely uh, free up to certain point you can uh, use it to create this small application so here in this example i'm going to create ott application using angular uh, 17 so natively if you give any prompt to this it will create application in react but if you mention as angular in your prompt so it can create uh, application using angular as well so here i will just type create ott application and you can mention ott application using the technology which you want so here i'm going to mention it as angular 17 and you can also mention take inspiration from netflix netflix so i'm clicking on enter so it will start creating my application using angular 17 so it is just analyzing my prompts now on the left hand side it is going to show you what steps it is following and on the right hand side it will create all the necessary uh, files so here you can see like it's creating all the angular uh, files here I, have, I can see it has created some mock data as well and it is writing the file and let's see what it comes up with and on top of that we can add few commands so let this get completed it is by the same time if you uh, see this terminal it is installing all the dependencies which are uh, there in the package.json which uh, the tool itself uh, created so once everything will be finished it will start running my application you can see the ngserve command uh, is being run on my terminal and now it will try to uh, preview the application and let's just see what uh, it will come up with so right now it is showing blank uh, let's just see in code okay it's uh, still in building phase after building we would be able to see the preview of this application now let's again toggle back to preview so it has not uh, come up let's expand this so here uh, you can see uh, it is throwing few errors right so here we can mention please resolve all the errors so here i mentioned to resolve all the errors so it is analyzing where the errors are exactly since it has the access to our terminal and hopefully it should remove all the errors and let's just see if it is able to uh, solve the errors on its own so it would be easier for us to resolve okay so here it is also saying one problem uh, is detected and let's just see first whether it's uh, serving or not uh, it's currently in building phase so if there are any more errors it will suggest us in the uh, terminal okay still there error so i will just say fix problem And it's uh, 
again updating the files and now I think hopefully it has resolved all the errors it's rebuilding the project and now it's showing loading I hope it works now so these are the uh, problem generally uh, while doing development also you face but here it is very straightforward you need to tell uh, in the chat box that resolve all the errors okay so now it's still uh, now it's in a uh, building phase again okay so now there are no errors and our application should load now so it is showing a uh, loading currently and let's just see what it has come up with okay so uh, let's give some uh, time see now uh, you can see it has created the application for us so here you can see the entire application like let me expand this to show you better see now like it has created the entire application and it looks similar to uh, Netflix now you can also see it has added some dummy uh, images so what I'm going to do in the chat box again what I will mention is use some free movies API and show the images show the images of actual movies okay so if I do this so normally while doing development you just have to uh, go to a lot of uh, sites and from there you need to uh, see which APIs uh, will work and you need to create the uh, key as well the, in order to use those APIs but this application by just mentioning this it will find the appropriate uh, APS uh, to be used if there is any key needed it will automatically add it into our project so let's just see what happens so let me switch to my terminal so it is now in building phase and this errors are coming because on the runtime it is trying to change some files so in normal angular 17 terminal also we get this error but uh, once we rebuild the application we should not be uh, seeing this into our uh, terminal so now it has again run ng serve and now it will try to generate so it's in uh, loading phase now so now you can see you can actually see the Netflix application and you won't be uh, able to distinguish between which one is real and which one is a uh, duplicate so purpose of this video is not to uh, create the uh, clone of any website uh, it is just to demonstrate you how you can create uh, any OTT application uh, from this scratch and it looks cool isn't it so if you have to create any application not just only OTT application you can uh, use this tool to create your uh, small uh, project so here if you hover over it it also shows uh, the information right so you can also download this uh, project and run it in, into your local so if you can see like entire zip uh, file is getting downloaded if you have to uh, do something uh, with the uh, project's code uh, 
uh, code then you can also open it in your uh, stack disk and here you can see all the files like how it has achieved this uh, output all those things also you can uh, see if you uh, if you want to change something then all those things also uh, you can try so from here as well you have this option uh, to download the project so here from here as well you can download the project so i would recommend to download the project from uh, this stack blaze only and then after you get it into your local you can just run npm install and try it running that in local now i have uh, extracted the downloaded code and i have imported into my vs code to run this application from the local so first i will check the packet.json though i have asked that bold.new to create the application with angular 17 but it has used the latest version which is angular 18 so uh, right now uh, that doesn't matter so we just have to check the output of the application whether it's correctly working in our local or not so for that what we need to do is we need to open our terminal and then we need to first run the command as npm install so let me run that npm install so this command will install all the dependencies which are mentioned in this uh, packet.json so as soon as i ran this command you can notice the node models folder is getting created and meanwhile you can uh, see the directory structure also uh, what it is following the components inside this src folder how the components are being created also you i can see some tailwind config.json that means it has automatically used the tailwind css uh, as well you can mean uh, see the global dot scss how it is it has it has been using the uh, css into a, our application you can see the all the service file uh, which are uh, created and all the implementation also you can see how properly it is calling the a movie apis like there are some uh, method i can see with get post also it has created the models as well automatically and and it is it is very readable to uh, readable to understand now let's just wait for this application to run so first of all it is installing all the dependencies let's wait for that and as soon as this installation is finished we will run this using npm start so now the installation is finished and let's just check on the packet.json what commands it is using so i will just uh, run npm start and should we should be able to uh, see the output on our browser so let it load so now it has started running our application it is uh, building uh, the application so now we have to go to our local host 4200 so here i will go to my local host 4200 and here within fraction of second we should be able to see the output of this netflix.com and here is the uh, movie list here you can see how background images it has added how the net uh, this nav bar is also created this user of profile icons so if i hover over it it looks proper it is uh, close to the original uh, website so now you can see it is running in local as well so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you